In other global story at this hour, in a major victory for U.S. President Joe Biden, the U.S. Senate on Sunday passed a $430 billion bill. The bill is designed to combat climate change, address healthcare costs, and raise taxes on large corporations. Now, after a marathon two-day weekend session, the Senate approved the legislation known as the Inflation Reduction Act. It was passed by a 5150 party line vote with Vice President Kamala Harris casting the tie breaking vote. The, the, nays are 50, the, nays are 50. the Senate being equal. The bill, when passed, will meet all of our goals fighting climate change, lowering health care costs, closing tax loopholes abused by the wealthy, and reducing the deficit. This is a major win for the American people and a sad commentary on the Republican Party as they actively fight provisions that lower costs for the American family. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden praised the Senate Democrats for passing the plan and acknowledged that it required many compromises. In a statement, he said, and I quote, The Senate Democrats sided with American families over special interests voting to lower the cost of prescription drugs, health insurance, and everyday energy cost, and also reduce the deficit. He further said that when he ran for presidency, he had made a promise to make government work for working families. And that is exactly what this bill does. The Inflation Reduction Act contains a series of proposals that Democrats have labored for decades to push through. And if enacted, it would be the most significant climate law ever to put in place in the United States of America, investing hundreds of billions of dollars over 10 years in tax credits for manufacturing facilities for things like electric vehicles, wind turbines, and solar panels. It would also impose a fee to penalize excessive emissions of methane, a greenhouse gas. The bill will now be presented in the House of Representatives for an expected Friday vote. And if it is passed, then it will be forwarded it to the White House for Biden's signature.